Mm-hmm. And people draw strength mm-hmm. when they're able to explain what happened to them. Mm-hmm. We're talking about the effects, the psychological effects on people around them. So mm-hmm. the, the example you gave was for a, 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 if you are abused, how would it affect your children? What did you mean when you put that as a, as a header? Well, the first cause of abuse, and I've had, I wouldn't call it a good, I've had the opportunity, let's use that word, to meet with different females and different men and who have come from abusive families. So, for instance, a girl I met a couple years ago, her father was always beating her mother, always. It was basically a regular occurrence. And so she then grew up with the mindset that if my husband or my boyfriend doesn't beat me, he is not man enough. And then there's the other end of the spectrum completely where you have girls saying, nope, never getting in a relationship, never ever. And so you then have, the, especially the children for reasons that they are the ones who are constantly 24 seven stuck with you in this situation. They see their parents, they see their fathers, they see their mothers going through something that they can't understand. And so then they don't have anybody to talk to about it. I mean, a typical example is where you have a father who is always abusive towards his wife, either physically or verbally. And the child is watching it happen. And we actually had a case in school here where a student came to class and basically told a a female student just like him, saying words like, I will beat you like my father beats my mother. And we're all shocked, like, where did this come from? And children are, first thing is children don't care what you say. They watch what you do. So they will watch you and watch how you behave and then adopt that message and take it outside. And so the whole world then gets to know what is going on in the house based on how your children behave. Mm. And cases where nobody knew what was going on in the house, they just watched the child. Yeah. And then the child exhibited some very unusual behavior and they traced it back and traced it back and realized that this child comes from a broken home. And then you then have, how do you deal with that? For instance, if women have had cases where I'm sure Adenike would have a better understanding of this, of having to either leave their husbands and just carry their children and run. And in our society, especially in our society, you can't do that without suffering abuse from everybody else. Really? Yes. If you are stigmatized, women are stigmatized for leaving their homes. You are basically told you have to stay with your husband till death to us part. And so it's having to explain to them, and I've had to do this a few times, and it is very, very difficult because you have to explain to them, first and foremost, you are not responsible for the damages done to this child. Yes, it's a horrible situation. And yes, you also have a choice. Yes, don't look at what the society or your friends might think of, oh, look at her, she left her husband, she's not a very serious person. Because A, no, you can't tell the whole world what's going on with you. And most people don't. They will just see that, oh, you're no longer with your husband, you run away with your children, what's up with that? What's wrong with you? Mm. And so they don't have that mindset of saying, you're not a very serious woman, you're probably sleeping with somebody else, that's why I chased you out. And so, uh, referencing to the story that I think I shared about the sex tape that came up for the artist, I actually saw that story and I was horrified when I saw it. Because it gives men this blank slate to say, you can do whatever you want, nobody's going to question you. A woman does the same thing and is basically treated like a criminal offense. Yeah, a pariah. It's just having to, first and foremost, the children are the most important part of it. Get them in the situation. Just okay. So, so I want to I want to uh, get Adenike's uh, perspective on on as you as you mentioned her Adenike, but um, one see what we're basically saying here is that abusive. So, look, I mean. 
uh, I, I think I'm being fair when I say that there's a more religious um, adherence in your cultures 